Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 159. See, I wasn't lying. We're not using a Ford in this segment. We're going to Chevy with the 1970 Chevelle SS454. 450 horsepower. I'm guessing it's a 454 cubic, in cubic inch engine, because that's usually what those old muscle car numbers in their car names went for. So, yeah. Now the one make race with this Chevelle. The only thing that would make this better if I was listening to Chevelle while driving this Chevelle, and this is going to be a fucking easy race because Road Atlanta Club. So, off we go. Alright, here we go. Five laps around Road Atlanta Club. So one more lap than our previous absolute dominance here. Oh boy. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Jones, listen. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. You know what? You deserve all this bullying. No, uh-uh. You, you fuck right off my stage. Okay, I didn't quite spin him out, but you know what? I, I, that works for me. Alright, anyways, I can focus on winning the race now. Or go flying off the track, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, that happened. Oh yeah, I have some damage from all the argy-bargy, and yeah, we're fine. Tried to shift into fifth gear in a classic American muscle car. What is wrong with me? Excuse me, sir. Oh, there's more front end damage. I think arrow does not matter at all. Because A, D, glass, B, fucking these things. These things aren't really designed for aerodynamics. Anyway, it's got some ground to make up, but it's Road Atlanta, so. Pretty confident I'll be able to uh, make my way through the field here. I'm almost glad we have that extra lap now. After I wasted all that time getting my revenge on Jones for fucking trying to take me out right on the launch. Bastard. Alright, 1.8 behind Miller. This little fucking Chevelle train. Three to go. Gain like a second in that sector. On Miller. Can under 70 miles per hour around turn one. I don't think this car was meant to turn, or was built to uh, turn. Call it a hunch. into the top five. Ooh, sneak round brown, there we go. Okay, now just for <coughs> Williams, Taylor, and Davis. In that order! Did Williams get a fucking pick a paint style that had like very almost white stripes and then paint his car white? What the fuck, Williams? You could have at least like picked a color with black stripes before repainting it, you fucker. Dude, the red would be perfectly fitting for this because, you know, red Chevelle, haha. 
Swear he down. No, I'm not gonna do that. Mostly because I don't actually know the proper lyrics to the chorus of the red. So I'm a fucking idiot. Does this thing only have a wing mirror on the driver's side? Also, I forgot to do this. Whoops. Yeah, it looks like this thing only has a wing mirror on the driver's side. For a second I thought I lost my uh, passenger wing mirror, but apparently it just doesn't exist. So I'm looking at a uh, Taylor and Davis's car and they don't have one. Also, I'm running out of time. Been kind of calm about this. I'm, I'm quickly running out of time here. Oh, a huge ass power slide. Okay. Go, go, go. Welcome to the red. Because I'm driving the Chevelle, and it's red. Okay, crisis averted. I have the lead. We good. Yeah, Ludo did some bit thing. Gave me like 200 of them. Which is like, what, two bucks? Yay! Wait, wait, what the fuck? Did something on the hoods, like, the hood bulge just move up? Or am I, my eyes just going crazy? No, no, that went up, okay. This thing has an active arrow on the hood bulge. <laughs> Excuse me. What? <laughs> That's what ha ha Jones couldn't recover. That's what you get for trying to take me out on the start, bitch. <sighs> Anyways. Level 7 Affinity with Chevy. And, uh... Yes, I know it's not active arrow. It's a cowl thing, but still, shut up. So there we go. Chevelle, Chevelle one make race complete. And with that... We shall move on to more racing in the next segment. Blah, blah, blah. Stay tuned.